Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video I visit Reedham, which is where I am here now, and Little Hobbis and St Bennet's Abbey. Well, more than marshes at St Bennet's Abbey than the Abbey. As you can see, the bridge is still in the process of swinging open for the boats to go through. It was pouring with rain when I visited here, so I'm going to move on to the next place now. So now I've moved on to a place called Little Hobbies. It looks like Little Hort Boys on the sign, but it's pronounced Hobbies, as far as I'm led to believe it is. This is the River Bure that I'm stood beside, and just a short distance along from here is the canal that used to take the wherries up to Aylsham and down to Halstead, Coltishall Bay. I'll take you and show you the canal in a minute. But first of all, I just want to show you a, a walk that goes beside the river bure here. It's quite a steep slope down to the gate, so you do need to be careful. And there's a bridge to walk over with no handrail. The sign says it's two and a half miles circular route. When you do this walk by the river, you'll be able to look across and see the chimneys on Little Hobbis Hall, just tucked away in the trees. I'd like to take you and show you the next bridge now, which has these two uh, alcoves, one each side of the bridge. It was built in 1630, and this is where the men would sit, waiting to take the tolls for the people crossing the bridge. And there's still the little seat in the alcove. This circular walk takes you up the drive to Little Hobbers Hall. I was far too chicken to do that, so I went a short distance along it, but it just didn't seem right to me that I should be in the grounds of this rather beautiful property. So... I only went as far as this, but look, it looks beautiful. And there is a sign, it says it's the footpath. And they have these fabulous stacks on the wall, which takes you through the entranceway. It was hard to find, but singing its heart out was a chiff chaff up high in the trees. We just left here now and we're in the process of driving over to St Bennet's and spotted these deer looking magnificent in the field 
They soon ran off though. They're far too scary for them. So from beautiful deer to a magnificent kestrel, which was just in a field beside the car park. It's very busy going all over the marshes and then it would drop down, but it seemed to come up without anything. Each time it went down. The crane here, I've not seen them over this side before. But they're here, all flying around. St Bennett's is on the approach to Norwich Airport, so planes often fly over here. And I was asked, why do I film the planes as they go over? Well, simply because, you know, they're not, it's not easy to hold a heavy camera up and film them and keep it steady. But by filming them, it helps me film the smaller birds. So it's all practice. Plus, I like the planes, and I know many of you do too. It seems to have been raining every day all week, and today was no exception. Look at the black clouds over in the distance. Yeah, I'm stood in sunshine, but the rain did come over. The Kestrel's just having a well-earned rest after searching for some food. Always keeping a beady eye out though. Over the other side of the marshes is Thurn. So that's Thurn Church. And if I look to the other side, I can actually see Herbert Woods at Botterheim. A little Chinese water deer putting in an appearance before hiding in the reeds again. St Bennet's Mill. And then Thurn Mill. I'm not sure of the name of this mill, but it's the one that's across from Moby. And then a few shots of the Kestrel. It kept coming over towards the car park, just like the barn I did the other week. It was the Kestrel's turn today. It was lovely to see the moon out in the daytime, so I had to go filming it. It always looks quite pretty in the day. You can see the craters. I just remember how far away it is, <laughs> so it is difficult to film. Very dramatic clouds, dark clouds, are reflecting beautifully in the puddle here in the car park. Anyway, that's it from me today. Thank you all for watching and I'll be back again soon.